do you know, uh, like, you, you're taking a shower. That, well, I'll make it work. And uh, it gets steamy, and then the glass, the glass has that little effect that kind of blurs everything out. And you probably want that. You're probably very happy about that, just in case, like, someone walks by or something. And so now let's think about Apple, but not apples in the shower. Uh, Apple has, like, this really awesome, beautiful blur that they put on their background. So if you get a notification on your phone, anyone who has like an Apple device, you'll get to see that cool glossy effect. Has anybody ever wanted to like replicate that with CSS? <laughs> Lots of people. <laughs> um, so I, I didn't know that it, wasn't, that it was very difficult to do something like that because you could just, you would think that you would just say blur the background, you know? But in, up until recently, like you haven't been able to do it. You had to do something like weird and apply some like mask to it. But I'm going to show you something called a backdrop filter. So you can like add a filter to the background of something. So here's some like test notifications that I created. And so you can see that there's no background, there's no blur on it, and we're actually going to show you what it looks like when you add a regular blur. So I have a notification and just adding blur. Let's see what happens to the first one. You see, like, it's like a one pixel blur and I added a white background to it. But what's happening is like the text will start to get like really, really fuzzy. So let's go find the blur CSS piece. Oh, okay, one. You see it getting fuzzier? It's just one pixel blur. But you would think like, you think the background or something would um, change. But then you also see that the border is not crisp. It's kind of fuzzy and we don't want that. Recently there was something introduced called backdrop filter. And let me see if I can get this where you guys can read it. Can you see that? Okay. Backdrop filter. You can apply regular CSS filter properties to it. I'm applying a blur to it. And then also uh, increasing the brightness so things are a little more readable. And so let's see when we add this uh, class to it, what happens? And it looks beautiful. Yeah. So... Um, there's also a few things that are problematic with this right now. So you see how I've added this WebKit um, prefix to it. If, if you would have gone and done this and went into Safari, which I believe I have Safari up somewhere. I was in Safari? No way. <laughs> so yeah, it's not gonna work. And so you have to make sure that you have this uh, as a backup. Um, and then also just to test, <coughs> just to test and see if it works, you can just say like CSS dot supports and then you just say what the, what the attribute or property is. I, I don't know the difference of the naming scheme, sorry. Um, and then you could just say, okay, we're gonna test out blur. And then this actually renders and says true. So that is CSS in the shower. So um, <laughs> I don't have any good clothesline, thank you. <laughs>